Hello fellow guitar geeks, this is the Into The Waves Delay Distortion Modulation Pedal, all the way from Poland. It's from a small company called Tone Charm Audio, and it is one of the most fun delay pedals I've played for a while. And in 2022, there are loads of delay pedals being released. This one is a little bit special, and I'll explain why now. The Into The Waves has its own built-in gain section. So if I just turn the pedal off and play you something. Turn the pedal on. In that setting with this switch, the dirt is just on the repeats. But if you flip that switch, you get the dirt on the clean as well, or rather the, the, the source audio. It's very much a delay with a dirt rather than a dirt with a delay. And I, I, it's a very crunchy distortion rather than an overdrive. And I will go more into that in the video, of course. But now I will bring you what I think are my five favorite tones from the pedal in no particular order. Oh, what a wonderfully, wonderfully creative pedal. This honestly didn't appeal to me that much at the beginning because I thought, what do all these knobs do? What do all these switches do? And I, I didn't know exactly what the pedal wanted me to play, if that makes sense. I'm like, it's a delay pedal, so I've got to find some sort of delay riffs to show you. And it turns out that I should have just, and what I in fact did, was just play and then twiddle and fiddle and see what fitted together. And it's a wonderful, wonderful pedal that I will now explain how it works. So, the Into the Waves Delay Distortion Modulation Machine has lots of knobs, lots of switches, and I'm going to run over them as quick as I can, but as thoroughly as I can. So, we'll start at the top left with the volume. This is the master volume of the pedal. If the pedal's on and you turn it down, you get no sound. Uh, yeah, I had that all the way up mostly when I was playing it. Filter, very powerful, knocks off the top end and dulls the sound. And that applies to everything. So you're not just dulling the repeats, you're dulling the whole tone. So again, I left that all the way open mostly because I can adjust the tone on my guitar. Then we've got the gain, which is oh so much fun. All the way down, the dirt, uh, sorry, the gain does make it quite clean. So that as you engage it, it gets kind of into Graham Coxon territory. Into almost fuzz. Is that max? Yeah, that's max. The dirt switch here is possibly my favorite part of the pedal, I'm not sure. But it allows us to put the dirt, the gain, on the dry signal and the repeats, or just the repeats. So here's on everything. And then this is just the repeats, so we've got a clean guitar going into it. Uh, 
And then if we adjust the mix... Or if you have it almost entirely um, just the dry signal... I can get lost with that switch, but I'm not sure which I prefer because I really love the dirt that this pedal provides. But I also love it when you've got it on just those tails. That's a wonderful feature. Now don't click away, stick with me because there's still a lot of stuff going on in this pedal that I haven't covered yet because many delay distortion pedal mixes would stop there. But this one also has a modulation. Setting the game back to about halfway just to make it a little bit more palatable for some of you. We've got um, the dive knob just here, which is directly connected to this momentary foot switch. The dive is this little modulation thing. That's also linked to the depth. So depth is how much modulation, how deep that goes, and dive is how fast it takes to ramp up. So if you have it at the lowest setting, it's really fast. If you have dive all the way up, it takes a little longer, or a lot longer. Then delay fans will recognize the feedback knob and the delay. So the delay is the time and you can get this wonderful little small room kind of sound. Super robotic, almost ring modulation, but with the mix you can make it quite clean. That, I keep saying, I keep thinking that's my favorite sound, but there are many sounds in this pedal that I really, really enjoy. And a lot of them seem to be with not that much delay, just to give that, that little bit of, um, I don't know, reinforcement. And um, we can get some weird and wacky spacey sounds using the delay knob to give us that old analogy kind of um, warbliness. This foot switch sets the feedback to maximum and it's momentary so you can use your foot to bring in maximum feedback when you want. So this is just a little bit of feedback. And it's dead. And then if I do this. The high pass filter switch makes it more violin-y. I've got the gain all the way up, but this is the difference between the two high pass filter settings. I haven't even mentioned the main feature of the pedal, and that is the fact that it reacts differently depending on the dynamics of your playing. Allow me to demonstrate.
Have a listen to the trails. How cool is it that you can affect the modulation by playing it a little bit harder or a little bit softer? And if you find out the relationship between the pedal's reaction and your guitar and your playing is a little too sensitive or not sensitive enough, then you've got this three-way sensitivity switch here that you can adjust to put it in the optimum position for that guitar pedal uh, human being relationship. There is one more setting I want to share with you, and that is the fact that if you put the mix all the way to dry signal only and the gain up, you can use this as a drive pedal. And I love the drive on this. It's 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 more distortion. It's quite ratty in in its distortion. So absolutely it functions at just a drive pedal, but all you can control is the gain. There's no other way of controlling it. Oh, I suppose you could control the filter as well. There you go, it's also a drive pedal. Just a drive and then you've got that weird and wackiness. Let's review the pedal. So, the Into the Waves Delay Distortion Modulation Machine I'm going to review as I open it up. There's a lot on offer here, and I think the majority of the value of this box lies in how creative the player is. That being said, I love just the distortion. The delay on its own with the modulation, very, very useful. But the main value for money, the main attraction of this pedal is when you use all of those in combination with one another. Yes, you could just have it as a drive. It's, it's a bonus kind of, not a bonus feature, but a nice thing to have if you just want some drive for a song and you've only got this pedal. Alternatively, you can just use it as a clean delay. But there are other pedals that will do just that. This, however, it's a little box of creativity waiting to be opened. Speaking of which, let's open it. All right, I, I was not expecting that. And also, it's got a serial number. Oh my goodness. Look at this, it says Geek, just there. So everyone knows whose pedal this is. It's mine. And that is a very tidy, tidy layout. I was not expecting that. I don't know why, but I was expecting that to be a, a jumble of wires and things because of how wacky it sounds. But it looks like a really well thought out board. So yeah, a beautiful looking pedal on the inside. Beautiful. And also we've got these little um, pot johnnies. I don't know what they're called. That's an awful way to call it, but I think that's what they're called. Right, we've got some dip switches just here. The one on the left is up for darker repeats, which it's currently set to, and down for brighter repeats. Then the one on the right is used to decrease the modulation sensitivity. So if you find that that sensitivity on this switch is still too sensitive and you want to be more dynamic with your playing or your pickups are even hotter, then flip that and you'll get uh, less sensitivity or more, depending on which way you look at it. We've also got a trim pot. The trim pot just here is for adjusting the reaction of that momentary foot switch on the feedback. So you can press this middle uh, feedback foot switch and it'll ramp up rather than go direct. I'm not going to do that. I've done enough of dip switches and trim pots recently, but I think that's something fun if you're already interested. If this one is wet your whistle, then um, you can play with that yourself. I'll leave that up to you. I don't want to spoil the surprise. Now, let's talk price. It's coming in around $250, around 240 euros, and around 200 British pounds. So that's as far as I'm going to go with currencies. It is a special pedal. As I've said already, it's not, if you want a delay pedal, this is not the pedal for you. If you want a drive pedal, this is not the pedal for you. If you want something that's a little creative workstation and it's hand built and it's a lot of fun, yeah, this could be the pedal you're looking for. There is a downside to it and that is, I think the artwork is a little boring. I don't think the fact that this contains so many weird and wacky wonderful sounds is translated into the way the pedal looks. That might be being unfair, but I really think that if Tone Charm Audio hired a graphic designer and had something 
something done with this design because at the moment it's it looks professional it looks well laid out but it doesn't look very interesting and i think you there would be more sales and i would like it more if it had a better design on it let me know in the comments if you agree all right that is it that's the end of the video which means you are in the end of the video club and to prove that you are a member of this prestigious elite when you leave me a comment down below telling me about this tone charm audio device also include the words you're very charming and that let me know that you've watched this part of the video and indeed uh make me laugh a little bit thank you okay that's it from me and this little box of tricks if you want to keep watching some youtube stuff there's some videos right there if you've enjoyed yourself leave a like if you've hated every moment of this you leave a dislike right now and if you want to come back for more there's a subscribe button which you should also click the bell to you know get all those notification things i'm going to twiddle these knobs as i talk See ya. Bye.